in creating a successful soccer program. One that has been competing in the highly competitive BVAL A division for the past 10 years. His dedication to the program, his players and coaching staff is unrivaled, garnering the respect of his peers. As a coach, he is always ready to listen, mentor, and advise. In his time at Branham, he has coached upwards of 500 players. There's a lot of mentoring and is truly a reflection of his passion for the game and his job. Danny, thank you for all you've done over the years. We appreciate what you've given to the program and to our kids. Landon, if you would present Danny with his award. Landon, if you would please direct your attention to the players approaching and deliver the microphone to them to say a few words. We have a couple team captains that have prepared something for us this evening. <coughs> So uh, we just wanted to thank Danny for it. Uh, I, we just wanted to thank you because you know, 20 years, a long time, a lot of dedication, and uh, it's obvious that you put a lot of work into this. And um, I don't know, me personally, and a couple other guys, we we've been with you through like everything, right? Uh, you know, reaching the open division finals this year, which hasn't been as successful, but. Uh, you know, one thing about you that has stayed like prominent throughout those seasons uh, is your optimism, and I really look up to that, and I really admire that, and I just wanted to say that. Thank you, Danny. Hello, Coach Danny. I'd like thank you for the. I've only been on varsity for two years, but even in that time, you've given me memories that I'm never going to forget for the rest of my life. It is. The stuff you've taught us on the team, especially this year, that we haven't been winning is like, we've got to keep our head up, keep on going, don't give up on the team. And it's just really, you help us as soccer players, but also as like people. Like you help us make us better on and off the field. And everyone on this team like wouldn't be the same without you. Thank you very much. Hi, Coach Jenny. Uh, Basically, in that going, Matt basically took everything I was going to say, but I just want to say that Coach Jenny is probably the best coach I ever had, and he made this program feel like a home and unforgettable. He said even when willing to sacrifice himself for our sake by taking multiple red cards, just want to say that thank you for making my high school season remarkable. Love you, Danny. Hi, Danny. I've played varsity with you for four years now, and coming to the program as a freshman, I would have never thought to even touch the varsity team. And now this year, I know the season hasn't gone exactly how we wanted it, and that sometimes it felt like the world was against us. But that doesn't take away from what we've already accomplished, and we've been the first public school to be number one seed in the open division. So, we made some history. Um, but seriously, I couldn't have asked for a better mentor or coach for the past four years, and the whole team is grateful for you and all the time and effort that you put into this program, and happy 20th year of coaching. present Danny with their gift. Why don't we give him one more large round of applause.
this time we'll send things back up to the press box for the rest of senior night. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this evening's varsity soccer match between the Westmont Warriors and your Branham Bruins. First, we would like to introduce the seniors from Westmont who are playing their final regular season high school game tonight. Number one, Luke Hanuska. Number zero, Chance Lavoy. Number 99, Rohan Sexena. Number four, Francisco Rodriguez. Number 19, Demson Betvarda. Number two, Cruz Heredia. Congratulations, Westmont seniors, and good luck tonight. Now presenting the senior class of your Branham Varsity Soccer Team. All of the active seniors are making their final appearance at Branham and will be in tonight's starting lineup if they are able. At, at this time, the Branham Soccer Program and the Branham High School Administration faculty and student body would like to honor each of our seniors who have done such an outstanding job representing Branham on and off the soccer field. This senior has spent two years in the Branham Soccer Program, both on varsity. His most memorable soccer moment was playing in CCS playoffs. After high school, he plans to go to college. Please welcome the son of Karina and Rasmus, defender Frederick Anderson. This senior has spent three years in the Branham Soccer Program, including the final one on varsity. His most memorable Branham Soccer moment was Pasta Night. After high school, he plans to attend Seattle University. Please welcome the son of Amy, goalkeeper Eric Oilers. This senior has spent three years in the Branham Soccer Program, including the final one on varsity. His most memorable moments were playing with people that he's grown up with, and specifically, bodying the striker off a ball while challenging at 20 yards out of the box during one of his first games playing goalkeeper. After high school, he plans to attend a four-year university studying economics. The son of Daniel and Devana Belair, Jacob Belair. This senior has spent all four years in the Branham Soccer Program, including the final two on varsity. His most memorable Branham Soccer moments were the FIFA matches at Pasta Nights. After high school, he plans to attend the University of Chicago for Global Studies and Economics. Please welcome the son of Jenny and Jamie, defender Alan Schaefer. This senior has spent all four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final two on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was being a starter in his first CCS playoff game. After high school, he plans to attend a four-year university. Please welcome the son of Melissa and Tony, midfielder Tyler Vega. This senior has spent all four years in the Brandon soccer program, including the final two on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was the Rockland Showcase last season. After high school, he plans to go to college. Please welcome the son of Jennifer and Peter, midfielder Matthew Maluda.
This senior has spent all four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final two on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was playing at Lincoln his junior year. After high school, he plans to ascend San Jose State. Please welcome the son of Donna and Rodney, midfielder Ashton Derizarian. This senior has spent all four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final two on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was traveling with the team his sophomore year to the CCS Open Finals. After high school, he plans to go to De Anza and study business. Please welcome the son of Nicola and Brian, midfielder Tyler Sessions. This senior has spent the last four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final three on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was scoring the winning goal against Prospect this season. After high school, he plans to go to De Anza and eventually transfer to a UC school. Please welcome the son of Betty and Todd, midfielder Maceo Inouye. This senior has spent four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final three on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was beating Bellarmine in the CCS Open semifinals. After high school, he plans to go to college to study biology. Please welcome the son of Elizabeth and Matthew, defender Douglas Jones. This senior has spent four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final three on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was playing in the CCS Open Division Final against Watsonville. After high school, he plans to go to college in California and continue playing soccer there. Please welcome the son of Ana and Jose Miguel, midfielder Neko Rios Armento. This senior has spent four years in the Branham soccer program, including the final three on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was beating Bellarmine in the CCS Open semifinals with a last minute goal. After high school, he plans to go to UCSB. Please welcome the son of Shadowing and Andy, midfielder Ethan Lowe. This senior has spent all four years in the Branham soccer program on varsity. His most memorable Branham soccer moment was being the first ever Branham sports team and public school team to be seated first in the CCS Open Division. After high school, he plans to attend a four-year college. Please welcome the son of Gene and James, defender Sean Kim.
Thank you all for coming. We hope you enjoy the game and go Bruins.